Hi, hi. Hello, uh, camera, YouTube people, boy and girl, and old people like me. Today I have a 2007 F-150 uh, with the 5.4 V8 and a four-wheel drive. They were saying that when you drive, got a noise. So let's go test drive to see what's up. Let me put my seatbelts on. Make sure I don't get citation. Not about safety, but it's a citation. Who care about my life? But you know, they do care about my life. I don't care. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, let's go test drive. And you can hear the humming noise already, a little bit, when you go at about 25, 30. Let's go a little bit more. Hear that? When you put on the lap, and that creates more noise. Yeah. Yeah. When you do on the right side, it doesn't. So I assuming that the driver size bearing is uh, making that noise. So this four is a two hundred thousand miles, and only bearings bad. So that means it's a good truck, huh? Two thousand seven, and first time bearings bad. So it's run forever. People always tell me, F O R D, found on the road dead. Actually, Ford is running good. Just kidding. They do too much advertising. Ford always, <laughs> always be Chevy, Dodge, Toyota, all that stuff, you know? So, hey. Actually, when you see a four running over two hundred thousand miles, impressive. Just have fun. Let's do the work. Another term for F O R D is fix or repair daily. Hmm. So they haven't bring to me that often. So that means it's a good truck. Buy some more. In the past, I have the 4.6 and 5.4 motor is good you know motor is good and sometimes transmission problem but hardly have any problem motor so normally when you test you're not too sure where it's coming from and if the bearing is bad so bad they have a lot of play and you push your hand to the bottom and top and Seesaw it, and you should hear the difference. You see that? That's a lot of play, you know? So you can tell that, okay, that's bearing is bad. Now let's go try the other side, to see it's like that. Now let's see this side, it's the same. See that? This side, actually, it doesn't have play, but I think the play the play this one have is not bearing like the other one. What happened here is when I push up here only. So that means like an upper control arm more than the bottom one. So if a bearing like the other one and you do sizzle, then you have uh, you have to play like the other side. So this side, this one is like the upper control arm making that noise only. Okay. So it's not it's not a bearing actually on that. If you do a seesaw, you can see the other one is differently than this one right here. So definitely that bearing is pretty bad. Okay. All right. Let's take the uh, wheels off. This side, twenty-one. The bearing is very expensive. 
$200 from Auto Parts. I haven't checked the dealership is how much. Because come with the hub everything. If you don't want to take the tie rods out, um, you have only like a manual tool only, and you want to put your uh, regular wrenches in the back here, you don't need to take this tie rods out because plenty of room in the back here. You can see right here, okay? Now, if you want to use your air tool, any like that, or cordless tool, then remove the tie rod and you can swear swivel this around and use an air tool to do your work faster, okay? So, my, I will take this out because it's not that difficult to take them out. Let me find the right socket for that. Actually, the same as lug nuts, which is 21. Okay, so that's came off. So let me take my clopper out first and I can take out this uh, wheel sensor. The new bearing come with the wheel sensor and all that stuff. So you don't have to worry about you're gonna break these things off. I'm gonna pry my clopper to open a little bit. So I will have easier to slide that one's in. So take out this bolt here. Both side, the bottom and the top. Prepare with the hanger. If you don't have a hanger, I got this from 99 cent store. So which is doing the work. You don't have to be buying a so expensive stuff. Just buy something cheap and they work as good as brand name. Okay. Or you can bend yourself a piece of metal. Okay, I'm gonna tap this out first. Socket number 13. There. Finally. See that? Stuck inside here. So what I'm going to do is, because it's rust, I'm going to spray some of the loop tube first before I removing this bolt right here. Not too bad. You come out. Okay. Let me detach the uh, the uh, ABS sensor up here first. So just unplug from here. There. Take out these two bolts back here. Okay. You can play around with it. You can hammer with it. They should come out pretty easy. There. You know, I wish every manufacturer make bearings simple like this for truck, car, all the stuff. When people are making easy like this, we can do it at home so easy. You don't have to use and press or anything like that. See how much play? See that? That's making so much noise. And all the bearing inside here, you can see 
they kind of like run with nothing right now okay and they do come with everything just like the OEM yeah and two year warranty on this <coughs> okay the back here <coughs> looks very similar looks the same okay here they don't have a left or right side which is left and right work the same so it doesn't matter which one you buy they all you can put it either passenger side or driver side okay table plug exactly the same you kind of like rust and dirty I'm gonna spray a little bit on my uh, rust on it and sand a little bit outside here to make sure um, I get the rust out I use 200 sand paper to sand right here all right it's good enough to loop a little bit shaft right here to get the shaft is uh, some smoothly grease on it when the sensor there just make sure the sensor is straight to that sensor space right there and slowly slide in slide in okay and then just put your screw in the back here to hold it slowly pull in by crisscross put the bottom on the other side so let's set my torque to 150 foot pound so pretty much uh, on this one's a max so I have 150 max on this right here it's a small one Okay, it's good. The little baby here, it's only 20. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's it. No more play. Thank you for watching. Bye bye now.